online from pregnancyexercise.co.nz and turningbaby.com and this is a three part video series and we're going to discuss pelvic floor muscle exercise during pregnancy. I've had three babies, I can jump and I can bounce on the trampoline and my pelvic floor muscles are more than strong enough and I didn't do any squeezes during my second two pregnancies. That's right, no Kegel exercises during your pregnancy. Now, follow this video series and if there's anything you're not sure about, please check out the full article on pelvic floor training exercises during pregnancy, how much should you do, on my website. Basically, the pelvic floor muscles are like any other muscle in your body. And if you overtrain or overstrengthen them, they're going to get too tight and then that can have consequences through your labour of not being able to feel yourself and pushing baby out because they're too strong, you've overstrengthened them. Now, if you're fit and healthy and don't have any pelvic floor muscle exercises previous to pregnancy, every time you go to the gym, when you're performing exercises, such as squats and lunges, you are exercising and strengthening the pelvic floor muscles as needed to. So you don't need to be going home and sitting and doing pelvic floor muscle exercises in the car, cleaning your teeth before you go to bed. It's too much. Stop doing them. You're activating them enough whilst you're exercising exercising and also when you're exercising them you're exercising them in the correct position in a squat position with your pelvis in a slightly anterior position when we do a squat that is the best position to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles not if you're squeezing them and tilting underneath all the time this is shortening them this is exercising them incorrectly. So, stop pelvic floor muscles. Stop squeezing during your pregnancy. Subscribe to my channel so to make sure you get to see videos two and three. In videos two, I'm going to show you the anatomy of the pelvic floor muscles and get into a little bit more of the posture side and how exercise can really benefit you in the gym as opposed to squeezing. In the last video, I'm going to show you post-pregnancy how to activate your pelvic floor muscles correctly. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Make sure you watch the next two.